G'day, I'm Vic, and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. So it's just over four weeks since we got back, and I planted these on the Saturday after we got back, so these must all be four weeks after planting. So these are all my brassicas. But the silver beets I actually bought because I didn't have any silver beet seeds. And you can actually see that even though I bought these as quite large seedlings, the shock of being transplanted actually means that there isn't a great deal of difference really in size. And it wouldn't surprise me if these didn't catch up even more. These are obviously a spaghetti squash, but I've got some zucchini and some cucumbers to go in. These are the pak choy. Now I bought these as well, and they've obviously taken an awful lot better to being repotted. I think because they went into vermiculite rather than clay beads, um, and so they got their roots into it better. Um, we've also planted beans. So these went in a week ago. Um, I planted three per pot. Um, I'll thin them down once they get to a decent size to one or two per pot. Two per pot works just fine, but it doesn't actually give you any better a result than one per pot. Unfortunately, the hay bales in the hay bale garden have basically collapsed um, and lots of grass seed has sprouted. Fortunately, that will make green manure when we just push all this stuff into the middle and compost the whole damn thing. I will have the potatoes and that nice kale as well first. So my experimental tomato growth is continuing. Also, because I've been planting so much, we've put in two new runs. They're down the bottom. The strawberries don't care about light, so they'll go in there. I haven't actually decided I might put them in that one instead. And the beans are actually going to get picked up and put in there as well because they're, um, they're small, they don't grow very high. So they can fit fine in a run that doesn't get too big. Um, and I might also start my next round of planting of um, brassicas because they're all four weeks old. So it's about time to start another batch. So yeah, more, more planting than I've got runs for at the moment. Well, all these are taken, they're just waiting for me to put plants in them. Um, and we'll come and see what things are like in another couple of weeks. We've installed a spotlight in our greenhouse on a timer to fool our plants into thinking it's summer. We've also wired a heater into our dodgy electrical system to stop them getting frostbitten. We'll show you what the spotlight looks like at night, but for now, that's your lot down on Geeko Farm. <laughs>